Candidate Republican Donald Trent, Donald Trent Jones, taking something of a more holistic approach to campaigning. WVTM 13's Carla Wade spoke with Jones, who says he intends to make Alabama grateful again. Donald Trent Jones is a first-time candidate who helps run a nonprofit organization bringing yoga to schools, public housing complexes, and prisons. Yoga is what pulled him into the 2022 race and the key to his platform. I am coming to the state with a message. Um, I'm the yoga governor, and I'm all about healthy lifestyle, mindset, mindfulness, and I believe that these things are what the people of Alabama need in order to grow themselves. And your state is as good as your people. So our, our candidacy is all about uh, creating health in the state of Alabama. Jones lives in Montevallo, where he grew up and graduated from the University of Montevallo. He describes himself as an entrepreneur and yoga instructor, taking up the practice to ease debilitating hip pain. For two years, he was a part of that fight to end the ban on yoga in public schools. He says negative comments about yoga from lawmakers and fellow Republicans inspired him to run for office. Through his nonprofit, Yoga and Love, Jones says he's seen how crucial mental and physical fitness is for both students and teachers. If you want to attract teachers, is you have to create an environment for the teacher. So not only you know making sure that their compensation's up to par with the national averages, but also making sure the the culture of the schools uh, is something that's inviting to them. Another place Jones says his program has reaped benefits is Alabama prisons, where he was allowed to go inside and teach classes to inmates. There, he observed how decriminalizing marijuana would play an important role in prison reform. I think that's one of the things that is, these are minor offenses, these are nonviolent uh, offenses, and I think we could decrease the population. Plus, in addition, I think we could implement yoga programs and meditation programs into the prisons to create a, uh, you know, just a better sense of ease with the prisoners. You know, a lot of the behavioral problems. His stance on a lottery and expanded gaming, both of which died in the state legislature again this past legislative session, is simple. Let Alabamians have their say. I believe that the, the people of Alabama are able to make the decisions that they need to make. So I would bring the lottery to a vote and let's let the people of Alabama decide. To address record inflation and help Alabamians deal with rising cost of just about everything, Jones is calling for an end to the grocery tax, but says the gas tax needs to be studied further. We need to look and see exactly where that money is being allocated. The biggest issue with that gas tax is there is no stop point. So every year that gas tax can be increased over and over and over. So I think it's the most important thing is to take a look at that gas tax and really see where that money is being used and allocated. Alabamians cast their votes in the primary on May 24th. Carla Wade, WVTM 13. WVTM 13, live Doppler.